I heard it was good pay and uh, short schooling. I wanted to get into work pretty fast. And so then I heard uh, a buddy of mine referred me to Lyman and I looked for the best school and I came up with M State. As long as you like the outdoors and willing to work, I think, I think you'd be all right. I think you're gonna have to dig out the stuff that's around it in the bottom. The school's awesome because it's it's a small amount of guys. Small amount of guys, Gary and Grant do a good job of working up with you one-on-one. -on -one. You know, if you got a question then they'll come up to you and they'll explain it all the way through of what you know it should be done and how it will be like in the in the field. Why don't you make a C1? Oh, they're good. I mean, uh, you don't have a problem asking questions, they don't have a problem answering them. So. I mean, they're good to work. I mean, they're good for us and they try to help you out as much as they can. I ended up getting laid off and uh, TAA Act from Minnesota ended up paying for our schooling. So, I don't know, I just wanted a job that I could travel, kind of go wherever I wanted. And, I figured Lineman was a good place. One of the latest national polls I saw that they uh, uh, they rate line worker in the energy field as one of the top two uh, most uh, job jobs with most demand. So anywhere a student wants to go once they get this training, they, they, the, the doors are wide open for them. Every 30 to 35, maybe 40 years, they get a total turnover in their in their employees. And right now we're just going into a new turnover with them. So there'll be uh, a lot of a lot of jobs with the rural electric. I originally didn't even know where Bodette was, but then I heard it was way up north where it was good hunting and fishing, so I figured give it a try instead of waiting a whole year. Lake of the Woods has the best ice fishing around. We come down here from the falls all the time. There's the lake, of course, Lake of the Woods, uh, the Rainy River. Both are phenomenal fisheries in, in hard or soft water. Uh, we've got a number of our students that love waterfowling. Uh, that's, that's been fantastic. Uh, come deer season, there'll be guys out in the stands around the area also. Snowmobiling, four-wheeling, I mean, it's here for all. And it's, uh, it's something that's that common thread with most line workers is the love for the outdoors. Uh, not only when they're working in it, but they, they play in it too. 